All right, guys, this is huge. Concurrency, concurrent mode comes to React. Well, not exactly because it's still experimental and you know the API is still being implemented and there would be a lot of changes on the code level. But the theory and the you know and the statement that this would be coming soon is live on React's homepage. So what the hell is concurrent mode and why it should bother you? Well, concurrent mode basically means that your React React's core library is now interruptible. By that, what I mean is that if there's something more important than what React is currently doing on the main thread, that could be interrupted. All right, so to understand this, why this is important, let's take an example of your own computer, like your own CPU. Especially, let's say if you're running a single core CPU, right, single processor. So if you're printing a document, on your printer. Does that mean that you cannot use your computer at all for any other task? Well, no, that does not mean that, right? If you're, you know, if you're typing on your keyboard, does that mean that you cannot move your mouse simultaneously? No, that does not mean that, right? That is because your processor switches between all these tasks very fast, but not in parallel, in concurrent mode, concurrently, right? So maybe your processor gives a millisecond of time to the keyboard then switches a millisecond for the mouse you know a millisecond for printer or any other task and you know it just keeps on doing that again and again and again right now how the libraries work they pretty much would start their work and they would keep the main thread blocking unless they complete their work this is how every library right now works whether it's react angular view any library i think concurrent mode in React is one of the first implementations in any library whatsoever. So, um, obviously, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't you know dr dramatically affect simple applications. But if you have very complex applications with React, this would drastically improve the user experience. Plus, it would make um, your developer experience a lot better because of you know um, the suspense, which is for data fetching and um lazy loading of react components which is still live i guess right but uh, yeah it would improve user experience developer experience and is like one of the best things which has happened to react in a while so i asked about uh, um, any possible release date of this coming out from experimental to stable from dan so he's like one of the core team members of react and uh, although there's not an official date right now but still, I think not this year, but maybe in the first quarter of the next year, it should be out, right? So yeah, unless that is you know officially out, we're gonna see some hacks and tips and tricks we can do with concurrent mode right now, and see how we can implement that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then in the next one.